Hello and welcome to my very first video on how to use Nautilus. Today we're starting with one of the more popular tools in Nautilus, the Clone Hero Converter. Clone Hero Converter can convert any Rock Band Con file from any Rock Band game that uses the Con format to a format that Clone Hero recognizes. First, understand that most tools within Nautilus work in batch mode. So rather than convert one Con file at a time, it will convert an entire folder of Con files all at once. To accomplish that, Put all the con files you would like to convert together in the same folder. Then follow along with the very simple steps outlined in this video. Once you open Nautilus, you are presented with a bunch of buttons. Each button launches a different tool. Navigate to the right side of Nautilus and click on Clone Hero Converter. Clone Hero Converter gives you the option to separate the audio to individual audio files for each instrument when the original song has stems or to down mix everything to stereo. It's your choice but I highly recommend separating to stems. The converter also gives you the option to choose the audio format. You can choose between the original AUG or Opus formats. AUG works in older versions of Clone Hero. Opus gives you the same or better audio quality with a smaller file size. This is entirely up to you. To navigate to the source folder where your con files are, you can click on the button on the top left of the converter or you can drag and drop one of the con files from your folder onto the converter and it will pick up the folder path and search for all available con files in that directory. That's what I prefer doing and what I just did here. As you can see, it found 28 con files in my folder. As I scroll through the 28 songs, you should recognize songs from Rock Band 1, Rock Band 2, Rock Band 3, Green Day, ACDC, Blitz, Rock Band DLC. Rock Band Network as well as a few custom songs. I chose these songs on purpose to give you an idea of what Clone Hero Converter can do. After that all you have to do is click begin and let the converter do its thing. Converting the files is very quick, but separating the audio into individual stems is very CPU intensive and takes a while. Just grab a cup of coffee and let it run. While we wait, I'll point out that there are a few extra features and options. Those are for more advanced uses and not necessary for 99% of use cases. So if you're just after converting Rock Band content to Clone Hero format, all you really need to do is open Clone Hero Converter, drag and drop one of your con files from your pre-sorted folder, and click Begin. Now, with the magic of editing, I'm going to skip the rest of the conversion process so I can show you how it looks when it finishes. And here we are. The log tells you in detail everything the converter did. But what matters most is that out of 28 files it converted 28 files successfully. It took 5 minutes and 48 seconds to do that. So let's take a look at the output files. As you can see there are 28 folders in the Clone Hero folder, one per con file that was converted. If we look at what's inside we'll see individual Opus files for each instrument, as well as the other game files like the album art, MIDI file and any file. And that's it. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know so I can make more similar how-to videos.